What's going on guys, JSGC Football here and we are here for another video today we're going to be doing an away vlog and we're going to be going as far south as south goes it is the longest away day in the country in the football league and that is Plymouth Argyle away before we do crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe to the channel it is free to subscribe social media links there in the description we would appreciate a follow on our twitter and instagram which you can check out in the description also don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up that would be much appreciated and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below finally this video is sponsored and is brought to you by scratch off maps this video is brought to you by Scratch Off Maps. Thank you very much to them for sponsoring this video. It is a brilliant map with lots of availability online that you can go and check out. So the link is in the description. They've got numerous amount of maps, including if you're wanting to follow English football, you're wanting to follow and do as many grounds in the 92. You've got maps based for the NFL over in the United States. You've got Scottish maps as well. You've got European maps, German maps for you to go and check out so lots of variety and lots of good options a little bit about the map the map very easy to scratch off uh, it's very accessible you can literally just pin it up and put it literally anywhere in your room i've even put mine on the door i also really like the fano meter that's available on the map uh, where you can see how many grounds you visited and see what kind of football fan you are. I've currently done 43 of the grounds available on the map. A seasoned traveller and I've got my eye set this season on getting to serious respect section. Don't forget you can go and check out the map. The link is in the description. Remember if you use code JSGC10 on checkout you'll get 10% off your order. Links and details they're in the description. Thank you very much to Scratch Off Maps. You can go and check out Scratch Off Maps using the link in the description. Remember, use code JSGC10 and cop yourself 10% off your order. So, got a little history fact file on Plymouth before we do descend down to the south coast. Looking forward to it should be a really good day. So, Plymouth formed in 1886, the nickname to the Green Army or the Pilgrims to share a fierce rivalry with Exeter City, which is known as the West country derby or the devon derby now when plymouth first formed they were known as argyle football club so the first ever match taking place on the 16th of october 1886 where they took on caxton a team from cornwall and the pilgrims lost that game by two goals to nil poor performances on the pitch did lead to the club going out of existence in 1894 before being resurrected in 1897 surrounding the origin of argyle because there is a bit of controversy and it is open for interpretation um, the, the name Argyle where does it come from well one explanation is that the club uh, was named after the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders which is an army regiment with a strong football side of its own another theory is that with local geography suggesting that the name either comes from the nearby public house which is named the Argyle Tavern where the founding members could have met or from the local street Argyle Terrace although it isn't conclusive where the name does come from. Now, the club adopted its current name, Plymouth Argyle, when it became fully professional in 1903, joining the Southern League, and Argyle's first professional football game was on the 1st of September 1903, where they took on West Ham United, which Plymouth uh, won two goals to nil, with the first goal being scored by Jack Heddle. Now, Plymouth moved to home park in 1901, and during the modern history, they spent much of their time anywhere between the Championship and League Two, so Tier Two to Tier Four of English football. Uh, things started to go south a little bit by 1995, found themselves back uh, in the bottom tier of the football league, known as League Two. Uh, Plymouth did had a, a resurgence throughout the 2000s, getting promoted from League Two right up to the Championship, having the most successful spell uh, in uh, through 2004 through to 2006, finishing as high as 10th in the Championship, but did see a decline and see them head back to League 
League Two again through 2010 and 2011 with back-to-back -back relegations and then they ended up going into administration, Plymouth's darkest days, uh, as they managed to avoid relegation in 2012 and 2013 with 21st place finishes in League Two. Now they did manage to climb their way back up the football pyramid once more. New investors saw them buy home park from the council in 2016, saw them head right up from League Two back up the championship by 2020 three after a 13 year absence Plymouth currently find themselves 17th in the championship three points clear of the relegation spots and this is Plymouth where we're going to go and head down and watch Plymouth Argyle take on Preston North End so we'll see you for the journey we're currently at the services as well hello Aaron hello Is this Gloucester services? We are down south now. This is really bad for a service station. Gloucester services. <laughs> You've been JSGC'd. Still like two, two and a half hours away from what we need to do, so my chance to take over from the driver now and give Aaron a rest. Thank you. Fun fact for today, Preston North End had the longest journey in England for any away fans. We've got the longest trip today, so that is a fun fact for you. So it's safe travels for all you North Enders. Come on you whites, let's do this. One thing I will say, this is a one hell of a journey, but we are in Devon. Welcome to Devon as we're fast approaching Plymouth here. It's going to say about an hour and a half away. So we're now in Exeter now, so we're approaching Plymouth, but not too far away. We're making excellent time here. So I will see you guys in Plymouth. done it we've arrived in Plymouth it's not took that long at all we've made excellent excellent progress here well done Jane well done me as well so it's at 10 at 17 it's took us five hours and 16 minutes with two breaks as well not bad going but as you can see outside it is quite wet so I'm hoping that we'll clear up get the drone or get some nice shot footage of Plymouth nice shot of Home Park and Plymouth Argyle and also send it over the Tamar Bridge as well into Cornwall but it's beautiful scenery here, absolutely beautiful country. You have to go down to Devon and Tolong, fantastic. Here is Plymouth. First, let's get that drone up. Let's have a, a closer look at this. Yep, I agree. 
And there's the bridge, the Tamar Bridge. Let's get the drone up. It'd be rude not to come all this way to go across the Tamar Bridge now. It is tolled, so we do have to pay on the way back. Uh, but yeah, we've come all this way. We're into Devon. Cornwall's literally just across the bridge. So we may as well say we've been to Cornwall on this away day. How many times are we going to get, set, get to say that in our lifetimes that we've been to Cornwall on our way day? <laughs> Let's do it. Take me to Cornwall, bro. To Cornwall. Welcome to Cornwall. How steep this is. Look at this for a hill. If you've ever been to Cornwall, you know it's how hilly and some of the hills are absolutely massive down here. So as you can see, we're back on Tamar Bridge crossing from Cornwall back into Devon. I've got to pay the toll. It's now I've got to pay the toll. Oh, where you think you're going? I'm going downstairs. Oh, there's a toll in the hole now. Ten bucks. It's raining and it's raining a fair amount. Right, we're gonna go and check out a couple of pubs before we go and uh, hit Home Park. So I know they've got two nearby. You've got the Britannia, which I think is a Weatherspoons, and you've also got the Embassy Club. Looking forward to that as well. That we're gonna go and check out and hopefully they'll let the boy fans in so we can rate the drinks in there, which some of you guys have already watched that kind of thing. You know what to expect. Exactly. Then we'll go into Home Park. Uh, and we'll see what the away day is all about. And also, kudos to drone flyer Aaron just here. They were difficult flying conditions. It is, it just turned down in the last hour here, wasn't it? It's raining, miserable, foggy. Just yeah. Anyway, hopefully that's the only things that are going to go wrong. And Preston North End can win today. My score prediction: two second half goals for Preston, two nil win. What are you going uh, for? I'm a bit more negative here, 1-1. One, one. I think Ryan Hardy get a goal for play. I think they'll be up for it, especially with Ryan Lowe returning to home park. The Ryan Lowe derby. Yeah, the Ryan Lowe derby. <laughs> I think Preston win today. And then a bigger will be equaliser. Okay, fair enough. Right, go check out them bubs. Let's go. 3-0 North End. Reece Patrick. Oh, wow. 4-1. Positivity, I like it. 3-1 to Preston. Keane's getting a brace. And Mad Frey Carr's getting one. Love what it. Nice. Well, keep it with that trick. Fantastic. Oh, Love it. 
Yep. <laughs> what do you want? So we're on a half a pint of Thatcher's, so £1.84. That's not bad. Give me a taste. Yep, so half here. Cheers. <laughs> It's all the seven ounces. Cool. Weatherspoons does a job. Always does. Should we go to the Embassy Club? Oh, go on then. In the Embassy Club. Managed to get in both places that we wanted to get in. See what it's about. Mm -hmm. It's all busy in the Embassy Club. We come right through here. We've got full size snooker tables. And it's all decor in there with Plymouth stuff. Looks good. Thanks How much? Look. And we're paying for these half an hour. So this is cost. Three pounds, so it's 180, so it was 360. Three pounds 60 for two halves. Prices down here aren't bad, are they? Not bad in Plymouth, oh, coming down south. Plymouth, not bad. Rate it. It's one of those things. I know it's a kid's dream, but I've always loved the dark rooms. For me, it's a solid eight out of ten. Bullshit. Eight out of ten? Eight out of ten. Decent. Apple shirt and dark fruit. Yep. But one thing I will say, I love little quirky clubs like this. I say it's a home in, I think it's a home fans pub list, but just you see football once again gets in the home ends. Hashtag Burnley. Hashtag Burnley. Cheers. So the cider connoisseur. The cider connoisseur wants to give this a try. I don't mind my fruit ciders. That's not my favourite. It's not the worst. I think I'm just going to give that a 6.5 6 out of 10. Yeah. The cider connoisseur is not... It's, it's, it's good, but it's not its favourite. It's good, but it's not great. Yeah. 6.5. Fair enough. We are going to go and head to Home Park. We just couldn't come all this way and not have one. £3.80 for a small. Selling out of a little van over here. Home Park's just that way. Give me that taste test then. I don't think they have these in the ground, so I didn't want to miss out on my opportunity coming all this way for one of these. Hell it is. By the way, what is this weather? They say it's grim up north. Bright sunshine, I've been told, up north today. Grim down south. Let's have a look inside. Oh yeah, very nice. Out very of 10. Nice. Are the day 8.5? Decent. Can't not have one. Look at this. Thing of beauty. Very quick mention, you've got the big car park here next to the stadium. You can just come on and park on for free until it's full. We've not parked on today because I suspect it's going to be very busy getting out. But an option. There's lots of residential parking as well that you can park on for free. You also have the buses that take you from the centre in the park and rides. Take you right outside the stadium too. Decent. from a cat he used to come in yes he's a pin badge you're happy aren't you yeah i'm always happy to get a pin badge some places we don't and no i always do to club shop buy it also that dark board board is cool do you have a fan zone here at plymouth as well it's a very good size they are charging five pound 80 a pint in there which for a club uh, fan zone i don't think is too bad but you just go to the Weatherspoons down the road, the Embassy Club, which is my recommendation. It's a whole pound per pint cheaper, but uh, decent. You also have uh, the Green Taverners Suite, Plymouth Argyle Supporters Bar in there as well. Plymouth, you've been JGC. And there's Home Park in the background. Around the corner. Also operated by Barcode. £26 for today's match ticket for this championship clash. Have a little away area outside. Selling burgers and food. Aaron's not happy, he's got to be searched twice. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> Thank you. I 
love the sea of green with patches everywhere and there. Yeah, there's your food. You've got patterns in here as well. It's more expensive in here than outside in the vans. Alcohol in service in here and also just outside of the OAN. Aaron doesn't want another pasty. He's going for a sausage roll and Coca-Cola just over £7. Let's rate the food and drink here then. So it's a proper kind of sausage roll. My hopes aren't high. I we'll think it's just be a sausage roll. <laughs> see what the difference is. It is cool, have a look at that. We are going to be rating our experience today, including value for money, food and drink, and atmosphere. Straight in. Is it anything special on a sausage roll? To me, it's a typical sausage roll. Oh. Out of ten then. Six. They sell pasties and they've got factures. We're driving so we can't have a factory. So I'm going to upgrade it by a point and give them 7 out of 10 for having factures. Uh, pasties available and Aaron scores it a 6. So 7 out of 10 for food and drink. Thoughts on the ground? Modern, but I kind of like it. One thing that appeals to me is the grandstand. I like a bit of mix of the traditional ground with modern. I like it as well. We're out of 10. It's <laughs> on 7 out of 10. That's a big character. It's a really nice bar. Good tool bro. Especially with the line, like I said, the three stands they look very similar to what Blintfield Road does, that like design. But the thing that makes her Plymouth is the, grand, is the grand stand, because I really do like it. But the other three stands are very similar to that style. Looks much smarter than Bloomfield Road. And greener. <laughs> <laughs> Marching man around. So is the mascot. <laughs> Freddie Wooden and starting in goal. Happy with that team? I've just got injuries to the team, so I've been interested in minutes in.
Plymouth's turn. Plymouth's best chance in the half. 1-0. Fourth then, half time, one of Western League, lacking a bit of quality I think the game. Yeah? Yeah, I disagree lads, but I know Ben just got edged here, I think we're the best hit so far. We could have kind of light pressure, but I think we deserve to be from here. You need to build on that in the second half, you can get that killer second goal. Yeah, second goal will kill off. Here for the second half. <laughs> Don't mind saying that that was a marathon effort. We are just making our way back from Plymouth back up north. Five and a half hour drive back uh, up north. We're currently around halfway there uh, and we've made it to Gloucester, which I think is a good point for us to end this video. Firstly, brilliant win for Preston North End, keeping their playoff hopes alive. Plymouth. Better luck for the rest of the season as they aim to try and stay and remain a championship club. Good win for Preston. Well taken goal by substitute Liam Miller. And also kudos to Ryan Lowe, former Plymouth manager, in uh, not doing his normal celebration. So normally when Preston win away from home, uh, I'm sure Plymouth fans will have seen it when he was in charge in there. He likes to do his fist bumps, doesn't he, Aaron? Uh, but out of respect for Plymouth, didn't, uh, didn't do that. Uh, so any last thoughts? With the game? No, I thought Preston probably deserved to win, truthfully. I was say, I think it's a very deserved three points. Can't complain at all. I say, I don't think the Plymouth fans can either. Nothing to had the better the second half. Um, we fully deserve those three points. I say, I don't think I recall Plymouth was that chance in the first half. Headed from the corner, which proved crucial in the end. It's no offense, we just couldn't get that killer second, but it didn't really matter today. So we get the three points, because their defense held out brilliantly as well. It's blocked out the few chances that did come at Plymouth's way. I say it's an absolute solid but for me the man of the match was Miller so that turned it on its head I say it's unfortunate for Brad Parts but when Miller came on the game just changed on its head and also uh, pass on the regards to Milliton as well I say it looks quite a serious injury for him I hope it isn't as we're starting to look a little bit for Edward, but 
for us it's been a fantastic day it's because i've absolutely enjoyed it and three points because it makes a huge difference to the way they win nothing get three points on the road come on you whites absolutely love it so jay any thoughts uh, i think it was a really good win for preston north end uh, i've fully enjoyed our away day shall we rate our experience yes let's rate it yeah uh, so first of all we've already done food and drink and given it a seven out of ten, ten yeah we've got uh, pasties in there we've got thatcher's gold that's a big thumbs up from me unique so seven out of ten i'm going to give food and drink there um for plymouth in terms of value for money tickets today cost 26 pounds uh, which i don't think is too bad of a value for championship football it's cheaper than north end it's cheaper than preston north end so i think i'm going to give it an eight out of ten and so on eight out well. of ten uh we are gonna to have to pull the score down a little bit for atmosphere i'm afraid i did think it was a little bit flat at home part today uh, i do get the sense that uh, player fans aren't very happy with their manager uh obviously form kind of dipping for them as well struggling a little bit and it just uh you know there, there weren't that many empty seats there yet there wasn't no too much atmosphere no. uh preston north end fans taking over a thousand down kudos to them making some good noise as well so i think i'm gonna give atmosphere I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, 5, um, out, of 10. five yeah. out of 10, yeah. So overall, 20 out of 30. I don't think that's a bad score, to be honest. That uh, gives an overall score of 6.66 out of 10, which isn't too shabby. So, yeah, uh, fabulous. Thank you very much to uh, to Plymouth. Very enjoyable yeah. away day. Longest away day. In the country, so I hope you enjoyed it, especially for the Northern team. Just put it out there before anyone comments. Oh, it's not the longest of way days, but for the Northern teams, it is. And do you know what? I have a lot of respect for Plymouth fans yeah, that I've have to do them journeys they have to do week this. in, week out, and you don't fully understand until you have done it. And we've done it today for the first yeah. time. Uh, and it's not easy, so I have maximum respect for Plymouth fans doing that week in, week out, and vice versa with away fans visiting yeah. Plymouth as well. Uh, yeah, any anything else to add? No, that's no? it. No? Okay. I'm very happy, choppy. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe. It is free to subscribe. We've got plenty more football vlogs and plenty more football videos for you guys to enjoy. And also don't forget social media links there in the description. Finally, we get to pull off a big scratch on our scratch-off maps with yeah. Plymouth. It's a very famous scratch <laughs> on our scratch-off maps. We're going to be scratching that off. Remember, if you guys like travelling up it's and down the country, you like following your team and visiting the different grounds and you're aiming to try and do the 92 you need yourself a scratch off map link is in the description anyone that does uh, buy any of the scratch off maps does help to support the future content created here on our channel We've got english teams uh, you've got other sports and other countries and everything that you can go and check out and remember code jsgc10 you get 10 percent off your order as well thank you guys so much for watching uh, and we'll see you very soon peace ciao for now